In fact, that's where we're going to kick things off, Jan, mm -hmm. because you have a lot of good ideas. And I'm telling you, everywhere I go, there is something on Pinterest, in, you know, the stores, at home again. What happened? Every <laughs> cactus is so popular. See, and we live right amongst them, and we, do, we don't appreciate them. So this is really fun for the whole country to embrace cactus. I know. Cacti. I know they're on clothes, they're on bags and everything, and you're going to show us how uh, to do it at home. The cutest ideas ever. We're going to start over here. This is one of my favorites. This is a really inexpensive little canvas bag. You can get a ton of them, all different types of shapes and sizes at the craft store. And what I did is I picked up some fabric paint. You got to have the fabric paint. And this and is super cheap too, right? Really inexpensive and all different colors. So I took some tape right here and I painted the bottom and then let it dry. So that's all you're going to do like that. Now I took some, now there's a lot of ways to stick felt onto canvas. Um, I talked to the folks at the store and they said the best way is actually using a fabric glue. Okay. Because the ones with the backing don't really stick. So I took a little template online of the cactus, I cut them out, and then I just glued them on there just like that. So all you did was take the glue, glue it, put it where you want. Exactly. How easy done. is that? And plus, this probably this whole craft probably costs like five bucks. Not even. Yeah. Not even. I Thirty-nine love it. cents for the felt. Okay. Take a walk and find some rocks that look like cactus. That's all you're going to do, and get some acrylic paint. Thirty-nine cents, for, you know, for a can, for a little container. And I took the um, the rocks and I painted them different colors of green, and then dotted them with the white. These are so cute. Cost nothing. The kids will have a ball with these, and I just filled the jar with little rocks. All of this was in my front yard. Yeah, and this might be like a craft that cost you a dollar, okay? <laughs> exactly. And it will keep the kids and you occupied for a long, long time. Super cute. This is, as you know, nail art is continuing oh, yeah. to be so popular. So I took a template online and then I So wait, took some I want to ask you something. Yes. As far as the template, you just you just said cactus and you just got a photo of a cactus. Cactus clip art. And then all you did was you took the nails and you put it all the way around. Exactly. Right? That's I didn't exa know that's And what then you, you did. just pull and it off. And then you pull it off. Right. And so I took a small cactus and a large and then I did the outline and now you know, you're just ready to make the, any design you want, and you're going to go up and down and, and all it doesn't over the matter place. how you do it. It really doesn't. It and you doesn't know, I went to a craft store, at, like you know, a, a craft place that you go and do crafts at, yeah. and this was one of my daughter's favorite things: is to do it's, the string art. It's so easy. You need little nails and a hammer, and you're good to go. And I just picked a, a piece of board that I had right. around. And Super cute. This is my favorite. This is painting cactus on fabric with potatoes. Okay. <laughs> these are these I are, love it. These are fingerling potatoes and they make exquisite cacti. And so I took some fabric art. I found a neat little kitchen towel. I just took the potato, I dipped it in the um, the paint and then I just made my impressions right there. A couple of hours later, it's ready to wash and it's set. Isn't that so cute? Well, what I like too is that you're doing this on a dish towel. You can do this, like have the kids do it this, on a you know frame, yeah, whatever you want. This is just your hand. Oh, that's your that's hand. Awesome. I just put it in acrylic green. I made uh, my handprint and then I took my fingers, Destry, and I just gave them the little little nubs there, the little off shoots, and then I just took more acrylic and I made the flowers, and I that was it. I actually had it. a ball doing all of these. I absolutely <laughs> love them all. Everyone, if you want to see these again, just go to our website, arizonamidday.12news.com, and also there's tons of ideas on Pinterest, so check them out there.